And now the People's National Party is also advancing its strategy to take control of the corporations. The party says while it is strong in several parishes, the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation is a prized asset it is trying to secure. Dwayne Anderson has the details. Keep what you have, then add it to it. That's the name of the game for the PNP in this local government election. General Secretary Dr. Dayton Campbell says the party is also trusting the numbers. We've been polling heavily um, and we realize that we are ahead in the majority of the divisions in 12 of the 14 parishes. Not suggesting that polls win election, clearly, because you need to mobilize the people on the day. So what we're trying to do now is that I, I sat down and I did the targets. We did a projection for every division as to what we think the turnout is going to be. And we set the targets PD by PD to say if you get to this target, you will be victorious. What we are asking the persons to do, and majority have done so already, a few are just wrapping up, is to do the canvas to ensure that they match the numbers to reach that target. He did not share the data, but stressed the PNP is strong in at least 12 corporations. Two of those corporations, Hanover and Westmoreland, are held by the PNP, two parishes which have been getting increased attention from the JLP, with multiple water and road projects commissioned recently. In fact, the local government election was announced in Western Jamaica in St. James. The art of war is distracting, and they're trying to distract us, but I don't see uh, any possibility of them being victorious in Westville and, 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 and those places. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that campaign is about. Um, it could be that they are seeing the numbers and they realize that they're under pressure and they're trying to bolster the era by launching and, and announcing the date of the election down there. Uh, so it might not be a show of strength, it might actually be a show of weakness. By the PNP president Mark Golding's own admission, the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation is the most coveted. It is presently held by the JLP, but Dr. Campbell says that corporation is one to watch. That's a council that we intend to throw every effort at to ensure that we can win it. The PNP's general secretary in the meantime has taken issue with the campaign strategy of the JLP. According to Dr. Campbell, the recent rush to address infrastructure is a sign the government holds Jamaicans in contempt. As it relates to the PNP's campaign strategy, the party plans to host more rallies in communities to keep in touch with supporters. In 2020, we got 130,000 less votes than we did in 2016. And in 2016, we got 30,000 less votes than we did in 2012. So that's 160,000 less votes that we've gotten from 2012, 2011, um, December 29, 2011, to the, the September election in 2020. So clearly there was a need for us to re-engage with our supporters. And that's what we did. We, we took the party lead on the road very early. A lot of persons questioned uh, the approach that we were doing, but we knew what we were doing in trying to re-engage the base. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.